Viewing your board in 3D. A powerful feature of Altium Designer is the ability to view your board as a three-dimensional object. To switch to 3D, um, make sure to run the view, then click 3D Layout Mode, Command, or press the 3 shortcut. The board will display as a three-dimensional object. The tutorial board is shown in this image. Now make sure the PCB editor actually requires a graphics card that supports DirectX. Now refer to the system requirements page for more details. You can fluidly zoom the view, rotate it, and even travel inside the board using the following controls. In zooming, click on Control, right click, hold and drag, or Control mouse wheel, or the page up or down keys. In panning, right click, hold and drag, or the standard Windows mouse wheel controls. In rotation, shift, right click, hold and drag. Note that when you press shift, a directional sphere appears at the current cursor position. As shown in this image, rotational movement of the model is made about the center of the sphere. Now position the cursor before pressing shift to position the sphere. Using the following controls, move the mouse around to highlight the required control, then right click, hold and drag the sphere when the center dot is highlighted, rotate in any direction. Right click, hold and drag again the sphere when the horizontal arrow is highlighted, rotate the view about the Y axis. Right click and hold drag sphere when the vertical arrow is highlighted, rotate the view about the X axis. Right click, hold and drag sphere when the circle seg segment is highlighted, rotate the view about the Z plane. Now hold shift to display the 3D view, directional sphere then click and drag the right mouse button to rotate. Tips for working in 3D Press L to open the view configuration panel when the board is in 3D layout mode where you can configure the 3D view display options on the view options tab in the general settings and 3D settings sections. The 3D display colors can use realistic or bi-layer which are the layers colors defined by the 2D layout mode. There are a number of 3D configurations defined. Explore this in the general settings of the view options tab of the view configuration panel. For example, the Altium 3D DK green configuration is ap applied on the image shown in the previous tutorial. There are controls to configure the layers colors as well as the board thickness in vertical scaling, which is actually handy for examining the internal layers and interconnect structures in the PCB. 3D layers have a transparency setting, slide this to see through the objects on that layer. You can choose to show 3D bodies or hide them. To display the components in 3D, each component needs to have a suitable 3D model including in its footprints. Refer to the component object page and the 3D body object page to learn more about including 3D models and refer to the 3D advantage in ECAD MCAD integration page to learn techniques for positioning a model on its footprint. Apart from Component Manufacturer's website, 3D models are also available on community portal websites such as 3D Content Central and GrabCAD where designers share models and also a growing number of commercial 3D sites including PCB3D. If there are no suitable step model available, create your own component shape by placing multiple 3D body objects in the footprint. 